Welcome back. This is Kumquat Plays DOS, the video series where I take you through old operating systems and show you how they work. Just kidding. This is going to be Mission 2 of Star Wars Dark Forces. Still having some voice problems, so I apologize in advance, but I got a bag of menthol cough drops here, so I think we'll be fine. If you watched part one of this series, it was an introduction to this game. Simple mission where Agent Kyle Katarn goes and steals the Death Star plans. And then a nice little movie cutscene that introduces you to the Dark, Dark Trooper project. So mission two is when the game really begins. It's about the Dark Troopers. Kyle delivers the plans to the Rebel Alliance. Soon afterwards, the Death Star is destroyed. But even as the Alliance celebrates this victory, another sinister plot is set in motion that will become an even greater concern for the Rebellion. We saw this cutscene at the end of Mission 1, but I'll let it play again for anyone who's uh, picking up just now. The Emperor has approved your test demonstration, General Monk. Thank you, Lord Vader. What I unveil today will mark a new era for the Empire. We will be able to decimate the Rebels just as we did the Jedi Knights. At last, the Emperor's War will be filled only with the glory and beauty of decisive victory. A noble cause, General. I hope the demonstration lives up to your claims. Proceed. With pleasure. Dark Trooper, release. Very impressive, General. The Emperor will be most pleased. Continue with your project. Certainly, Lord Vader. Thank you, Commander, for responding at such short notice. The Empire has been keeping us on the run since the destruction of the Death Star. Five days ago, the Empire attacked one of our secret bases in the city of Talay. This is tech base to anybody out there. Please, we're under Imperial attack. They're everywhere. There was no warning at all. Total devastation. They broke through our shield. They broke through our shield! Tech base was destroyed within minutes. Many innocent people in the surrounding city, as well as the rebel staff, were killed. Intelligence thinks that this may be an act of retaliation for the destruction of the Death Star. Interesting. This looks like it could be a normal Imperial attack. Except for those sounds. Very perceptive, Commander. I know you understand that all we discuss here is classified. This Imperial officer, Crix Medine, wishes to defect to the Alliance. He has supplied us with information on the development of a new Imperial weapon. Those sounds you heard, we believe, come from that weapon. A new type of Stormtrooper, the Dark Trooper. A new Stormtrooper that can take out a Rebel base that quickly? I should have kept working for the Empire. The Rebel Command is not taking this lightly. They have authorized me to hire you to find out if there is a threat, and if there is, to shut it down. That is, if you are still on our side. This could be interesting. All right, I'm in. But I think I'll need some help on this one. I want Jan Ors as my mission officer. Certainly. Then I will let Jan brief you further on your mission objectives. Thank you, Commander. And may the Force be with you. 
All right, that sets the tone for the rest of the game. Sorry for anyone who saw the cutscene at the end of the last video. I'll do a better job of policing it so we don't have duplicates, but it belongs more in this episode than it did in the previous. <clears throat> so the rest of the game, we saw Imperial General Mock has a dark trooper project. It's a new type of stormtrooper, and it's our job to find out what that project's about and shut it down. And of course, Kyle Katarn does that totally single-handedly, and this is before he's even a Jedi. Uh, now, if anyone's familiar with the Jedi Knight games, there was a Jedi Knight, Jedi Outcast, Jedi Academy. Those are technically sequels to Dark Forces. It all started here. Anyway, mission two, Tale Tac Base, after the massacre. It's good to see you, Kyle. Good job on Operation Skyhook. The rebels were very impressed. Now it's back to mission hopping, just like the old days. Rebel Command has made a brief reconnaissance of the area, and it's swarming with Imperial activity. The power is still down in the city, so some of the systems are going to be down as well. You'll need to find the main hydroelectric power generator and get it back online. Mission. The Empire usually gets sloppy after a major offensive, so we may be able to find evidence or leads about this new dark trooper we've been hearing about through Crix Medine. His contacts inside the Empire will help us follow up on anything you may pick up. Good hunting, Kyle. Mission objectives. Find and restart hydroelectric power generator. Find some clue to the dark trooper and return to the landing area. As usual, we'll be playing on hard. Here we go. Get to see the moldy crow and all its 3D full polygon model glory fly off. Up here in this landing area. These guards are not very good because they just watched that ship and they did nothing about it. Somewhere around here I think is a secret. Maybe I'm misremembering. I don't know where those stormtroopers went. I'm gonna head back to the beginning area real quick and see what else is around here. up here and this brings us back to the top here okay cross this little bridge I love how this game's pistol is actually usable it's not like the doom pistol where it's last resort you can actually main this quite a bit in this game Like they said, the pa in the mission briefing, the power is out, so much of the level is dark until you uh, restore power to the city. I don't know how this looks on the stream, but I can barely see here. Oh. I think the Empire should be embarrassed about that. One guy just mowed down like an entire squad of their troops. Another fun little interesting thing about this game is uh, the environment is somewhat reactive. It's kind of like Duke Nukem 3D. So these lights here, you can shoot them and they burn out. Just cool little environmental thing and it's awesome how the developers actually spent time on uh, little details like that. Yeah. 
No shortage of ammo. I have 500 energy cells, which is the limit. Snipe across the way with the pistol here. This is the uh, hydroelectric power plant that we have to reactivate. Water is a very high friction, it really slows you down, you kind of slog through it all. Oh, he blended in with the wall. find our way across that water to get to the other side of the uh, dam to reactivate it. None of the doors work until power has been restored. We got all these Imperials hanging out in the bar with the power off. Imperial Commando playing bartender apparently. This is the this is the power generator. I don't I forget what the other thing was. Another interesting note about this game: it supports rotating and moving sectors, something that Doom was not able to do. Um, I think this game engine is probably closer to Build than it is to Doom, where Build is the engine that powers games like Duke Nukem 3D, Blood, and Shadow Warrior. And now all the lights are on. For some reason I was thinking that panel was a secret. I guess I misremembered. Okay, here is that area I was at before. If I hit the switch, the bridge swings around so we can cross. Pretty cool to see that in 1995. It just was kind of new. game does have monster respawning occasionally. You'll come around an area you cleared before and there'll be new enemies there. Keeps the challenge up. But it's not overbearing in the way it does it either. Oh. 
secret area over here on the side. Can recharge on shields. A little bit of ammo. All these health packs, but I haven't actually taken any health damage yet. And I forget if there's anything here in the water. That's just a great... And I think we I think that's just later on. We'll get there eventually. Got this blown up and jammed door that's sparking and failing. Aftermath of the Imperial attack on the city. all out loud here. I think one of the reasons this game is fairly easy compared to its contemporaries is there's no hit scan enemies. Everything shoots projectiles. door needs to be opened. Must be a switch somewhere that I don't recall. Maybe a shoot switch? Surprised I don't remember this. Maybe I need to backtrack. Maybe there's more elsewhere in the city I have to do first. Okay, yes, I've been here. the bar. Keep getting caught in uh, little walls and stuff here. That doesn't go anywhere. This is just the bridge control. <coughs> I still feel like there was a secret in here that I missed. But. Has been a while since I played this. Well, I don't know what I'm missing. Back to crossing the bridge here. Oh, what is this? Oh, that's uh, the water exit. something simple here I'm missing, I'm sure of it. I don't see any buttons down here. Apparently I never tried just hitting space on the door. 
We're not gonna pretend that didn't happen. Took down about half her shields, but it didn't do any health damage. That did burn through a lot of ammo, though. Weapon supercharge. Could have used that about 45 seconds ago. If you notice how these stairs spiral over each other, it's a pretty neat capability of this game engine for this era of game. As well as this little floating platform here that you can see above and below at the same time. That was unusual. And here's a dark trooper gun. One of them must have dropped it in the attack. Um, this is the clue we're searching for. Jane? Go ahead, Kyle. Looks like I found something that can help us out. Get back to the landing pad and I'll meet you there. You do get that gun later on in the game. It's pretty decent, but that's not the gun the Dark Troopers actually use when you encounter them. Jump up here and grab those shields. Any shields on the other side? Doesn't look like it. Now just to fight our way back to the beginning of the map. extra life. This game does not allow save points or checkpoints or anything like that. It gives you a life system. So that's five lives. And when you die, it just sets you back a few minutes. Of course, if you run out of lives, you have to restart the whole mission from the beginning. the landing pad now just to wait for the moldy crow and here it is clean up the riffraff around here click next mission and we're done that was uh, mission two of dark horses that'll be it for this stream or this video thanks for watching